Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an avatar for YouTube in GIMP. GIMP is a free photo editing software that you can install at GIMP.org. Okay, so to get started what you first want to do is install fonts and you want to get your background for your avatar. The font site I like to use, use is called fontsquirrel.com. If you don't know how to install fonts into GIMP, just leave me a message or a comment on YouTube and I will tell you how. And then I like to use DeviantArt for my backgrounds. Just make sure the background you pick is free and you can do that by simply going down to the description, reading the, um, the author's rules. This, this person said it's free to use, there's no credit necessary, so I'm going to be using this one. And then I'm also going to be using this texture for the um the the font in my avatar. All right, so to begin, make a new file. YouTube says it's best to make an 800 by 800 pixel file, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this white, and I'm going to say stay at 66.7 percent um zoom or whatever it's called. So first what you want to do is get your background. I'm going to download this. Okay, that didn't really work. Let's press it again. Alright. So just copy and paste it into your 800 by 800 file. Go to layer, go to anchor. Now I want to change mine to a different color. I don't like orange. Um, I have nothing against orange. <laughs> I just don't like it. Uh, I'm going to make it purple. So go to hue and saturation. And just scroll through this and it'll give you different, many different colors. Um, let's see. I kind of want a purplish blue. So I'd say about right here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, there's also lightness, saturation. I'm going to decrease the saturation a little bit. Yeah. Lightness. I'm not going to really mess with that too much. I'll keep that right there. Now I want to make this quite a bit darker, so I'm going to go to curves. And just pull with this a little bit. Just move it around until you like what you see. Alright, I think that's good. Now I want to kind of give I want I want a black border, kind of a faded out black border around this. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to get my paintbrush. I'm going to make sure the size is kind of big. I'm going to make it a bit kind of big. And now for the new layer, I'm going to select black and just go around like this. Then go over here to the opacity. I'm putting mine at about 35. It may depend on your your own image, how light or dark it is. You may need to keep the opacity up more or even go down more. So I'm going to stay at about 35. And then I'm going to anchor that. Well, merge that, I mean, sorry. Then I'm going to make another new layer. I'm going to do it again, kind of more outward towards here. I'm not going to put as much. I'm going to bring that down again. This time I'm going to keep it at a little bit more. 42 looks nice. And then we're going to merge that too. Alright, so now we're ready for the text. I'm using this font. I like it. Um, it's kind of futuristic, modern, whatever, you know. So I'm going to use this. Just type in your name or YouTube username, whatever it is.
If you'd like a different color than black or white, just go up here and you can select different colors. There's all kinds of different colors. But I'm just going to stick with white. Okay. Now I want my name to be rotated, so I'm going to select the rotation tool and I'm just going to click and drag till I'm happy. That looks about right. And I'm just going to click and drag to position this kind of in the center. Okay. That looks good. So now, let's see, what do I want to do? Okay. I'm going to make a new layer, transparency. I'm going to select my text layer over here. Right click on the text layer. Go down to alpha to selection. Then go to select. Go to grow. I'm going to grow this by about 10, 15? No, 20. All right. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this a a darker border around it. Not black, but it's just going to be darker. And I want to make sure this is connected because it just looks better. So I'm going to go down here and select the lasso tool. Go to the tool options and I'm going to make sure that this is the second mode is selected. And I'm just going to connect these. Alright, so then that's connected. Alright, so now go to the background. Go to colors, curves, and again just fool with this until you're happy. If you want it really dark, just make it really dark. If you want it kind of blended more, just go towards the middle over here. I'm just going to stick with it right here. Alright. That looks good. Okay. So I want to kind of give also a, a lighter kind of border that comes across the name. So I'm going to select my lasso tool again. This time I'm going to zoom in. Actually no. I'm going to keep it right here. Select the lasso tool again, make sure the mode is still set to the second one. And just I'm gonna make a border. Hold on a second, let me see what that is. Sorry about that. Okay. There's random music playing. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Alright, I want to make sure these are lined up nice and tight, so I'm going to click and drag this. Alright, that looks about right. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Click and drag. Now make, again, make sure you are on your, your background layer. Go to colors, curves, and I want to make this lighter, so I'm going to go up here. And fool with this a little bit. Looks about right. Okay, go to select, none, and voila. Alright, so we're not finished quite yet. Now I want to kind of give my text layer a texture, kind of a metallic texture. It'll also make um, it'll make it not as white and bright. So, okay, I exited off of that. So let's see.
trying to find my texture here. Here it is. Okay, sorry about that. I had to find my texture. I kind of lost it. Alright, so we're going to copy and paste that into the your avatar. Make a new layer. And then what we're going to do is go over here to the text layer. Go down, right click and go down to alpha to selection go to select go to invert then go to your pasted texture go to right click and go to cut select none alright so this looks kind of dull and gray so I'm going to lighten it up a bit, a bit. I'm going to go to colors curves then I'm going to bring that way up here. I don't want it too late, light. I want it, you know, I want it to kind of be just a silver color with some of the texture still showing. So I think about right there. That looks about right. And I want to make sure it's completely silver with no color, no kind of undertone or anything. So I'm going to go to Hue, Saturation, bring the saturation all the way down. So now it's completely silver. In this layer, I can just right click and delete. I don't need that no more. Alright, so what is this? I don't even know what this is. Okay, I'll just delete this. Alright. Almost done. So, now I also have um, these little kind of lines just going through. To do that, just select your lasso tool. I'm going to zoom in for this one. Select your lasso tool. Make sure your background layer is selected. And just make the little lines. Make them however thick you want. If you want them thicker, you can make them thicker. If you want them thinner, make them thinner. colors again curves and there we go now I'm going to adjust the curves a little bit more on the background make it a bit darker if you like to adjust the colors if you're not happy with the colors too much just go to colors go to hue saturation and you can scroll through this again Just different colors, green. So there we go. That's how you make a YouTube avatar in GIMP completely free. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.